for those of you who are new to my channel and those of you who are back, welcome back. This is another beginner video. I, uh, I get a bit carried away, I'm trying to um, neglect my beginners because uh, I always want to do fast stuff. Um, so sorry about that. Here's um, a great video for a complete beginner who's looking to just get some tunes out. I want to be able to play something. So maybe you've watched my video on how to put the sets together and how to get your first sound out of it. I would also recommend you check out the video on cleaning and looking after it. That's really, really important for your health and for the health of your poor little saxophone. Um, so this is how to play your very first tune on the sax. So let's start off with the first three notes that we're going to try. We're going to ignore this hand, get rid of your right hand, and we're going to use the left hand. You might want, um, you might have the balance though. So uh, we're going to start off trying to make a B. So if you've watched my other video, you should now, you should know how to make a sound out of the instrument and where to put your mouth on bushaw and how to blow correctly and create the right uh, support from the diaphragm. So. So if you have one finger down, that creates the note B. I'm doing this on my alto. If you're a tenor player, let me know and I'll write in the um, description box a transposition for all of these. Um, or I'll quickly do another video on tenor for you. Most people tend to start on alto, it's a bit smaller and lighter, so I just went for alto today. So there's our B. We're gonna try an A, which is two fingers. And a G, three fingers. Okay, so we can actually make a tune even just using those three notes. Do you recognise that? Because if you like the way you look that much, oh maybe you should go and love yourself. I am a believer. I think he's great. I know he's a bit bonkers and everything, but I just think he's great. Um. So sorry uh, for all of those people that hate Justin Bieber and probably now hate me. Please don't give me a thumbs down. Please don't. I've got one guy that's in like, I managed to trace him. He's in like, I don't know, India or something that just gives me thumbs down on loads of stuff. Like whoever you are, leave me alone. Stop bullying me. Anyway, I like Justin Bieber. Get over it. <laughs> okay, here we go. So let's learn how to play that. So it starts off with two G's, G, 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 so three fingers down, A, B. So let's try that first bit together. So two G's, A, B. One, two, three. Um, if yours sounds a little bit like there's two reasons why. One, you're breathing every note. So you may want to watch my video on warm-ups and long notes, which is in the uh, beginner playlist. If you have a little scroll through that, I'll put a link in the um, description box as well so you can see all the other videos I've got. But breathing and how to elongate your breath. And also, I would really recommend you watch my video on articulation. Here's a link. Um, it just means uh, you can get clearer notes. So, you can hear that at the beginning instead of... So, watch the video on articulation as well, that's going to help you out. Okay, let's get a bit further with this tune. G, G, A, B, next bit, B, A. And then, G, B, B, A. Next bit, sorry, I just had lunch, I'm like, oh. <laughs> big lunch. Uh, very healthy though, all the good stuff, lots of green stuff. I might follow it up with an Easter egg just to balance everything out. Uh, <laughs> I have to keep my Easter eggs in the car now because I don't, I don't have the self-control to have them in the house. I have to keep them in the car to ration them better, otherwise they literally don't last the day. I think I've got issues. Sugar is my drug of choice. Uh, anyway, wait, wait, so you should go and love yourself. Oh baby you, okay, so G, G, A, B, G, B, G, oh, you're so, A, G, G, so let's go through that again, G, G, A, B, G, B, G, A, G, G, I'll just play that along. <laughs> So 
that's your first ever tune. Yay you! Let's celebrate you and your wonderness. Let's give you another one. Uh, so I said I was going to do three. We'll do a step up. We're going to add an extra note. This is C. So you would imagine that if that's G, and um, we've only got eight notes octave, which takes you back to the same place. If you were to imagine a piano, um, then you know there's patterns. And there's the two blacks and the three, and you can see that there's seven white notes in between before the pattern starts again. So an octave takes you back to the same place. So, gen so you actually have seven different notes, and it starts on A, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. There's no such thing as H. Whizzed through that. I'll do that in another video in a bit more depth. Um, so here's our G. So we start the pattern again. Here's A, here's B. So we'd imagine that that would be C. You would be wrong. Annoyingly, that's C. It's a bit odd. It's quite confusing because it feels a bit like A. So just be really careful. That one's the C. So if we go through them once more, and I'll do, um, here's a fingering chart next to me here. So G, A, B, and C. So we're going to use the C now. And we're going to play this tune. Do you recognise that one? Mamma mia, here I go again. Mamma, how can I resist you? That is one hell of a musical. If you've not seen Mamma Mia in the West End, or if you're American, you should go and see it on Broadway. It's brilliant. Brilliant. I've got lots of people that, um, friends of mine that play in the pit for it. The music's brilliant. Okay. So let's learn that one now. So it goes A G A G G G A B A G. You might want to write this down. A G. Here's the new note. C C C C B G. Yay! So, um, okay, let's move on. One more tune. We're gonna go one step up. We're gonna actually learn two new notes now. So. If that was C, that was B, that was A, that was G, we're going to use this hand. Make sure the thumb is under the hook, not just kind of randomly somewhere. Under the hook. We're going to do the next note down, which if we went backwards in the alphabet from G is F. We're going to add this one into the equation. We're also going to change up our B. I'm going to take my pointing finger of my left hand, index finger, and I'm going to put it over that little mini key that we weren't pressing before. So I'm squidging over both keys now. And that turns my B into a B flat for me. There's actually quite a few different fingerings for B flat, but we're gonna use that one for now because it's the simplest for me to describe. And that's gonna stay there the whole time. Even when I play a C and come away, I'm gonna come back to sitting on the groove between those two, two keys so that I can make a B flat. And we're gonna do this tune. <laughs> Here we go. So it goes F, A, B flat, C. Same again. F, A, B flat, C. And again. F, A, B flat, C, A, F, A, G. Now let me check. I don't get this bit wrong. Okay. <clears throat> I want to be A, A, G, F, A, C, C, B flat, make sure you're on the groove between the two. Um, A, B flat, C, A, F, G, F. Okay, so that one's a little bit trickier for your first tune, as this tutorial's called. But just if you're feeling like a challenge, if you think you're doing really well, um, or something to work on over a series of like a couple, two or three weeks, and try that one out. So great, I hope that was useful for you. Three quick little tunes if you've just got yourself a sax and you want to give it a try. Um, do watch my other beginner videos, there's loads there, other tunes that you might find useful or for the next step when you want to learn a few more notes and you want to progress and learn a few more tunes. Um, anything else you'd like me to talk about, please do comment, like maybe, okay, I've just got this new sax, I don't know where to start, can you recommend some beginner books for me? Something like that. Um, let me know what you'd like me to help you out with, and I shall endeavour to do a video for you on it. Um, do subscribe if you want to get more updates, otherwise you won't know when my new videos are here, how would you know? So uh, make sure you subscribe to me. 
And if you're interested in what I'm up to and where I'm performing, then uh, follow me on Twitter and I shall tell you more about what's going on in the world of chess. For now, I'm going to say cheerio, peace and love, bye.